All right, time for me to get real with you for a moment here. I just want to talk. Never before on YouTube have I gone this long without posting. And I know you guys are wondering maybe if I'm still alive or you haven't even noticed whatsoever. And you're probably thinking that I'm being dramatic or something. We just got back from the border of Gaza and Israel. And what we saw there marked us. But it wasn't only that trip. There are things going on in America right now that I have sensed. And the Lord has been greatly speaking to me concerning not just things in, in my personal life, in, in my house, but the house of America, the house of the country that we're living in, the house of the church, the house of believers. And the reason why I've been away for the amount of time I have is because I have so heard in my heart the Lord calling me to a place with him. And I apologize. I, I know you were expecting content at least on a weekly basis, but here's the truth. The only way I can provide value in my content is by coming out of the place of overflow. And for my personal life, I realized recently how I had gotten so caught up in the mundane tasks of everything with ministry, of everything with my YouTube channel, of everything with traveling and preaching and speaking and doing all of these things. And I forgot the reason why I was doing them all in the first place. And instead of being intimate with the Father, instead of just wanting to be a friend of God, I found myself loving the things of God more than him. And that's why I had to completely hit the pause button. I had to completely take a step back and say, Lord, I just want to be your friend. Lord, I just want to know you today. That's why I've had to take the break I have. And there's a reason the Bible encourages us so many times to get our own house in order. And for myself, especially after the first year of marriage, there's a lot of things that I've learned. There's a lot of things that I've grown in. And there's been places in my personal life that I've realized that I cannot just make videos and talk to a camera just to check a box. And like, I need to remember why I'm doing this in the first place. And I'm not just talking to a camera. I'm talking to a person, I'm a person that needs help, a person that needs the truth more than anything else. And how much of a disservice would it be that I would get in the public sphere and offer something that wasn't out of the overflow? You see, instead of just coming on here and, and offering you what little I have and, and what halfway I have, I need to be in such a intimate place with Father God that the only piece of me that you get is the overflow from his love, is the abundance of love that I've already received from his presence. That's where I want to be and that's where I want to stay in. And that's the reason I left YouTube for a while. That's the reason I've just taken a step back and I haven't covered as many things that have been going on. Right after Trump was assassinated, thankfully, he was unsuccessfully assassinated, but the, the attempt of assassination that was on his life, I, I really just took a step back and I had, had been sensing that very intense things were going to be happening in this country. That's been something that I've been praying through for a while. I'm not the type of person to get on the channel here and, and tell you a ton of uh, prophecies and a ton of things that are, are to come to pass. Uh, you guys know me. I, I mostly report on what has already happened and then tell you how you can victoriously approach today. That's, that's where we've operated. But I sense the Lord working mightily and the word that he has spoken to me is to get my own house in order, to get my own marriage in order, to get myself in order right now. Because before the world is judged, the church is judged. And in my own life, before I want to judge anyone else, I need to judge myself. I need to call my own foul. And that's just what I've been doing. I've been correcting myself. I've been repenting. I've been probably repenting like, I don't know, hundreds of times a day. Not that I'm in shame or guilt. Not that I'm like, you know, having a sob story and crying to myself all day instead. But I'm just like, I'm in the place where I'm just like, God, I just want to be like you today. You know, whether it's, I don't know, driving and somebody gets on my nerves or some company tries scamming me or, I don't know, the fruit goes bad in the fridge. I don't know. There's a million things that could just go wrong in your day. I, I've just been correcting myself and saying, oh, Lord, I forgive that person. Oh, Lord, I repent. I bless them. I'm not going to let that steal my joy. I'm going to stay rooted in you. I'm going to stay in your love. We've just kind of taken a step back. And I've also just been really um, focusing on my wife. And a lot of people might think that that's um, selfish of us or might criticize that. They're like, Gabe, give us more content. But honestly, I'm not going to apologize for focusing on my house because how can I help your house if my house isn't even helped, right? And so I really am just thankful for my marriage with Allie. She is amazing. And, and right now our marriage is just really strong. 
instead of wanting to go fast, I want to go right. Instead of wanting to grow and, and reach millions of people, I'm just wanting to reach one. And that's him. Like, I'm just trying to talk to my father right now. I've never really sensed such an urgency for myself to get ready for what is to come as right now. And, and what the Lord is calling me to right now, he's calling you as well. He's asking you, will you get your house in order? Will you seek him above all else? Will you allow his holy fire to burn up all the junk from your life so that you can be ready for what is to come? Because this fall, winter, and, and coming years here in America, what we will face is something that I believe will be just as intense, if not likely to be even more intense than we have ever faced. And that's, and that's saying something because we've become numb to everything that we've seen on the news. We've become numb to nothing making sense anymore. The Lord is calling us all higher to be touched by his holy fire. I've just been taking time to get in the word, to pray in the spirit. And I've also been working on my testimony book. A lot of people ask me what happened three years ago when I was in my coma for two and a half weeks. The hospital diagnosed me as the one who was about to die. They asked for my last will. But the Lord woke me up and brought me back. So one of the revelations that I walk in is how he perfectly created me for this time that I am living in. It feels like everything's just been piled on to your life this past year, whether it's family situations, whether it's your parents' situations, siblings, whether it's a career, your bills, your marriage, your family, your kids, whatever it is that you are facing. It might just feel like everything has piled on to you. I want to encourage you that you are victorious. And instead of letting the darkness tell you to subside, you will take a stand and you will conquer everything that is thrown at you because you're built different in Christ. You see, you got to understand this truth. You were perfectly sent to this earth at this exact time. You were conceived in your mother's womb with great purpose. Even scientists have documented that there's great light found at the moment of conception. Gabe, you're so religious. No, I just operate in truth. <laughs> Get on with the ship. I'm excited because I know what the Lord has called you to do. And so I invite you wherever you are. If you're anything like myself and you feel like you've just been so caught up and distracted by so many things and you have a lot of passions and pursuits that aren't everlasting, because let's be honest with ourselves. If 99% of your life is made up of things that are so temporary, you might want to re-examine where you're at. And you might want to get real with yourself for a moment and seek God one-on-one -on -one with no one else, just you and him in the closet. We, we pray a lot of times telling God what we want, telling God what we want him to do. But how many times have we actually sat down and asked him what he wants us to do? I believe actually, something I know actually, is that God is, God is crying tears, not because people aren't talking to him. He's crying because people aren't listening to him. You see, it's, it's one thing to just talk, say a lot of things to him. It's another thing to listen to him. He is a spirit, but he's also a person. Like he wants to be your friend. He wants to have fellowship. A lot of, we've misunderstood the image of God and who God is. It's a relationship. In fact, we're the only creatures that were ever made in his image and in his likeness, where he wouldn't just be talking to us, but he wants to talk with us. He wants us to not just look up to him. He wants us to look with him. He wants us to look like him. He wants us to speak like him, and he only wants us to do the things he's called us to do. And so I've been re-examining my life. And here I am, a minister, a save, righteous, doing all these things. But yet, I'm needing to re-examine my life. I'm needing to re-examine everything. I'm needing to call my own fouls and figure out how I can grow and correct myself and prune myself and look at my entire life and say, Lord, what's not of you? Show me because I only want to be with you. I only want to be burned by your holy fire as a prophetic word for your life and for this country. Whatever you do not burn now will one day be burned. That doesn't even take a, a special vision. That's just the word of God has been given to us that has called us to the place where we judge ourselves and then we wouldn't be judged. One day you'll look back at this video and you might just be thankful you received this truth, but it's, you see, it's not just about watching YouTube videos and thinking that they're good and liking and commenting and sharing, although all of those things are great. And I certainly want to hear from you. In fact, please comment your thoughts on this video. But I don't just want you to comment. I want you to practice the word of God in your life. I don't just want you to be a hearer. The Lord needs you to be a doer of his word. You're special, You're precious to him, his plans for you. 
are better than you can ever imagine. Here's the thing. You don't have to be good enough for him. You don't have to check all the boxes. You can just reach the place where you say yes to his grace. You see, but when you really say yes to his grace, you won't say, what can I get away with? Instead, you'll say, what can I get away from? You'll run away from the fence. Join me in prayer, fasting, self-correction. I want to hear from you guys. I'm going to be looking and responding to almost every single comment on this video. And I know that one of the most amazing ways you can hear God's voice and walk in deep intimacy with him is understanding how to actually approach his word and read your Bible. It's, I mean, it's, it's not just a book. It's not just a bunch of fairy tales, but it's himself. And I've created an entire video just for you. And there's a lot of you that haven't yet seen this. So I'm going to give you five seconds where you can just click right above my thumb.